Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you today how to replace a throttle cable on a Husqvarna 3120XP. The plastic keeper was broken on mine, so the whole uh, throttle was just sliding, or the throttle body cable was sliding into this keeper whenever I'd pull the trigger. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Never done this, and I'm coming to find out it's a pain in the butt. Husqvarna did a dumb design, in my opinion, on this one. Uh, there's no window here to take off to get to the trigger assembly. And just by first glance, it doesn't really seem possible. Uh, but it is. I didn't see anybody on YouTube doing a video on this. That's why I'm doing this uh, short video. So I don't think you have to completely disassemble the gas tank from the saw. I only did it because I'm trying to figure out how to do it. It looks like you probably just had to disassemble it a little bit and lift it up. But it doing this isn't that bad. It took like 15 minutes, so I would recommend it this way just so everything's out in the open. So there are three drift pins, a big one and two small ones holding your uh, trigger assembly together. Big ones right here, two small ones, one there, one there. Just drift them out. I used a drill bit because I didn't have a drift that small. Um, yeah, so you drift those out, and let's see if I can... Put this in real quick. So, from what I can tell, I just push down on this trigger assembly. Like that. And that should, yeah, it comes out. Okay. So, there's the uh, safety release. And then your actual trigger should be able to come up well, maybe not it looks like i can get to the white piece down in here that the throttle cable is routed to So this came out pretty easy, just pushes forward and pulls out. And you can see your uh, throttle cable right here it goes into that white piece. So that white piece, I believe, comes out through this slit here. I wanted to take the trigger assembly and pull it out this way, but it's not wanting to. Um, and just to make this video not super long, I'm going to do this off camera and then explain how I did it. Cause like I said, I'm just, I'm still trying to figure this out myself. I could not find a video for it. Uh, so just stand by. All right, so I got the new one in. Uh, you can see it just goes through this uh, stop here and back down into there. So all I did was I pulled the trigger all the way full. I had it up on its end. Uh, can't really see. All I did was push the cable out this way, pop it out of his keeper, route the new cable in this way, and it just pops up into the phenolic uh, trigger piece. Very simple. I just can't do it with one hand. You can see it right there. And it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, the biggest thing was just to pop this out because you have to do it from in this slit. And if you ever broke a finger trigger, heaven forbid, because I cannot figure out how to get that out of there. I'm sure if I had to, I could, but, you know, I'm just trying to be careful with the tank so I don't want to split anything. But that appears to be that, so let's put the trigger assembly back together and go from there. All right, so the trigger went in pretty easy. Just pushed up in, went down. Uh, to line up these drift holes, what I did is I'm using the drill bit to line all the plastic pieces up. And then I'm punching the uh, pin back through with the drill bit in so it'll keep it lined up till it pops out. So I've already got that one in. That one was easy because it was big. Uh, this one was easy. Just put the drill bit in, push it through. We're gonna do the same thing with this one, but it all seems to be working fine. So let me drift this one through 
and we'll put the tank on, put it all back together. All right, there it is back together. So here's the cable. This plastic piece on the old one was broken, so whenever you would pull the throttle right here, instead of the uh, throttle valve opening, this piece of plastic would just push down, you know, it'd pull it down and it had zero throttle response. So, seems like that's fixed. We'll finish putting it back together, throw some fuel in it, and see what it does. All right, guys, hope this helps somebody out. Uh, sorry, as always, for the video quality, but it's just me doing these little videos, you know, for random stuff that might help somebody. So I know there's not a lot of 3120 owners out there, but hopefully it helps somebody out. This might be applicable to other Husqvarna's, but I don't think so, because I think the uh, 395 and uh, 285 and all those have a little uh, cover right here where you can get to the throttle assembly. Not sure. But once I did it, it wasn't that bad. It was just frustrating that they don't make it easier on you. But yeah, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.